Hey everyone, Sragna here, welcome to another video. In today's video I'll be sharing a base that Kaku from Queen Walkers used in the July pre-qualifiers and did amazingly well. I'll include the link in the description below. It defended every single time. CC that he used was two super minions, three headhunters and the rest is archers. Traps are perfect but I pretty much copied it as much as I could but it's always good to move them around depending how your base is being hit and by what army. Also a reminder that no base is perfect and even though it defended it can also be tripled as any other base. So let me show you the defenses from the pre-qualifiers. So let's go to the first one. So the first defense was against Sia Betty's uh, fed and he's coming in with the dragons and dragon riders so the high, uh, the flybrid how they call it using the cockaloons for that archer tower then putting the queen with the ice golem he's going to be swinging the queen for the town hall uh he's got uh, another super wall breaker he's going to be able to go all the way in now the queen is going to be able to walk all the way inside so it's a pretty easy uh, Sui um, Tanho and uh, on the last ripple you will see that Gaku ended up trying to fix this entry by moving his Teslas around but then the defender ended up coming a different way so it really didn't work but uh, even though you get that Tanho very nice and easy a lot of the traps are on the right hand side which if you're coming in with hybrid or you're coming in with your dragons or whatever it is everything dies down so quickly and also a lot of people like using the royal champion on the back end and with all the traps over there the, the royal champion just doesn't get much value now the dragon riders are flying all the way in uses the freeze for that multi inferno in the center of the base it's looking all right the tunnel trap only pulls one dragon rider and one normal dragon now he's sending his royal champion from the left so that's okay but the king ended up getting clashed down there on the right hand side that AD is killing all of his dragons. The Royal Champion is about to go down as well. Although she still has her ability, so he uses it. And she ends up dying here. The dragons ended up dying, everything ended up dying, and he ended up having a defense. Now we've got Edgar Honor Face from the best cock. And I think he's Golden X, and he's using exactly the same entry with the Queen, which is why I think Gaku changed the, the traps because he's hot okay well this base is being streamed everyone is seeing where the traps are I better change it now he only changed the teslas but everything else was pretty much almost the same and it's still defended so now using the queen for the town hall grab nice and quick the king at the top um, edgar on her face is also coming in with the flyer using the electron on the right hand side everything ended up dying very quickly and he didn't really get the value that he wanted with that electron uh, i'm pretty sure that he wanted at least the queen and uh, probably also the eagle down well, he didn't get that value. He wants all his dragons to start flying down in the middle of the base. This is the warning ability. Everything is going down to the center where all of the traps are there and on the right hand side. So now that the warning ability has uh, gone off, that's where the black mines come in and they start smacking the dragons. He still has his royal champion. He also has a freeze and an invisibility spell again since the royal champion from the left starts uh, running around. Now remember a lot of the traps are over here on the right hand side so there's giant bombs, there's skelly traps, it's just going to be stalling the world champion over and over again, there's the skelly trap again, the king, he was trying to freeze the king and the warden statue, he missed the king and the king ended up smacking the royal champion and now it's just the warden and one dragon left. Uh, with a minion and uh, there's still a couple of defenses there that is just not gonna make it happen 87% two star and uh, now we've got ban me coming in with the uh, e-drax using the super loons as well at the top uh, trying to go in and then he puts all of his e-drax from uh, 10 30 to 12 with the king on the side just uh, following them again the same idea he wants them to go up and then go down towards the center of the base on this occasion he's using the blimp for the town hall so he's not doing the sui uh, queen onto the town hall but that's okay the sneaky goblins get the town hall down everything's still moving down now once again on the right hand side that's where all of our traps are so once they start popping up that royal champion is not gonna have much value because she's gonna be very busy on all those skellies 
Although she did get a little bit of value, she did help the Edrex a little bit. However, whenever you're getting rid of the buildings that the Edrex are trying to change, it makes them useless. Um, now the black man's hitting them. He still has the queen, but she's about to die. The royal champion is in the center of the base, getting rid of that Morph Inferno, which is perfect. But now the single Inferno kills the royal champion. The queen had gone down. The yak is still alive. There's one E drag and the owl left. Look at that unicorn is now healing the the owl. So funny because if you look at this attack, all three pets were the only troops left, and now the unicorn is healing the yak. But the Archidara ends up killing it, and then it's just this minion, and this was another defense. And finally, we've got Nebrax from Tribe Gaming. This was their last war that allowed them to qualify, and uh, this is where he changed his traps, uh, because everyone was uh, suing, suing their queen from 8 o'clock, but Nebrax decided to come in from 10 o'clock, <coughs> and you will see how old the Teslas are around 7.30. Um, and as I said before, that's what you can do with the base. Just move your uh, traps around and that will make them make the base either stronger or it will make it weaker depending how good you are at moving traps. But he's sending his queen for the town hall like everyone else did and then he has his king with the royal champion getting rid of the 12 o'clock area. And he's the first attacker that is coming in with a lava loon instead of the flybread. So now he starts with his uh, lava loon flying all the way from 12 down 3 and going into the center of the base. They're going to be able to go in nice and quick under the worn ability. The headhunters end up killing the defending queen and the loons are looking nice and strong flying around. He sends his blimp from uh, 3 o'clock I think to get rid of the multi inferno in the center compartment. That way his loons can just continue flying around. However they get smacked very quickly. The dragon from the slammer also gets killed by that single inferno. Now the rest of the loons are about to collapse at the end, but there's the AD, the wizard tower, there's a, the Teslas that Gaku moved, and also he moved the tornado, and this ended up being a 91% two star. Well, that's the base. As I said before, I left a link in the description below. Uh, thanks to Gaku and also thanks to Eric for uh, streaming all of his wolves live. That way we were able to see this amazing base. Um, hope you enjoyed. Hope it uh, defends for you. And uh, if you like the video, please click the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time with more Clash. See ya.